Hi, and thanks for watching. Um, the holidays are here, and it's getting snowy and cold outside, and of course everybody's mind is turning to the trail, which is coming up here in, geez, about 13 or 14 weeks away. So I wanted to make a video of our PCT gear list. Our weight is significantly down from last year, you know, our 2010 hike. Um, we've cut our base weight a lot, and I want to show you some of the improvements we made, some of the things we've really enjoyed using this year in our shorter trips, you know, some four-day to week-long trips that we've used and really been happy with. Um, the biggest weight savings that we've had is we've moved away from a traditional sleeping bag and moved to a two-person quilt that I sewed. Um, this is double baffled. It's momentum with a vapor barrier inside and baffles on both sides. Uh, 900 plus filled down. Um, absolutely excellent. It's been warm. We've used it down to about 24 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Been completely happy with it. Completely warm under it. Uh, it also gives us the opportunity to uh, sleep together, which is kind of nice. Um, in that same note, we're using the same sleep mats. Uh, we've got two Neo Airs here, one slightly longer than the other, um, but extremely lightweight for an inflatable mat, offered a great night's sleep. And for our packs, we, made, we went different directions with packs. Echo's going to be using the uh, REI Flash 65, which is a great pack. You know, it's got a uh, plastic frame on it, uh, small hip belt pockets. We're both still using the same rain covers we had when we were hiking with our Ospreys. No need to really replace them. I went with ULA, a little bit pricier, um, a lot lighter, 15 ounces lighter, has huge hip butt pockets that I've been happy with, and you'll see me using this pack in a lot of my other videos on my channel. Uh, big outside packets, we've been keeping our um, shelter outside of our pack, which keeps things a lot drier, a lot cleaner, um, and so I've been really using that for this, and I can fit a 2 liter soda bottle in each side pocket. 4 liters of water get us through a lot of the stretches, except for the real dry ones. Speaking of shelter, I'm not going to set it up for you, I've got plenty of reviews on it, but uh, this is our Nemo Meta two-person tent. Uh, for the two of us together, the vestibules are enormous, the tent's very generous sized. Uh, you can see some of my reviews on my channel. Uh, but that's three pounds, four ounces, with the bag and stakes, depending on what bag we use, between three pounds, three ounces, three pounds, five ounces. Great little shelter, um, lots of peak height, lots of length, so I've been really happy with that. For insulation, we've actually moved away from fleece and moved into down. Um, I've been surprised how warm these are even when they are wet, you know, from the rain and whatnot. That said, we do have uh, rain shells in case it gets that bad, but we went with Montbell. These are the Alpine Light Down Jackets. They weigh between seven and nine and a half ounces and are completely warm. Use them. Um, I've used mine about 35 degrees. I'm not sure about Echo, but use them outside stagnants, you know, and they were even too warm at that temperature, so I feel really good about those. We've cut down on our electronics a lot. Echo still has her iPhone addiction. And we are um, debating carrying a cell phone, you know, that gets cheap, easy service and bouncing this ahead from place to place with us. A lot of these products are going to be um, actually bounce boxed and not carried with us, including the GPS. For some of the hard areas, Fuller Ridge and um, some of the uh, more mountainous or more snowy stretches will carry this with us and we'll just mail it ahead to ourselves as we go forward. Small little nano. A couple of batteries. One of the things I love, this thing weighs one ounce and it's a double A to anything I go. And then you buy tips for whatever you're using. So we have a tip that fits the iPods, a tip that fits the cell phone, etc. Been really happy with that for what it weighs. Uh, we did a lot of solar power. And this, two double A's, the lithium double A's, uh, it's really hard to beat them. You know, you're talking about 13 or 14 hours of direct desert sunlight to equal what's in one double A, especially these lithiums. So that's our electronics. I went with the bike. Um, I work at night, and a lot of times I use the Remix, a little bit brighter, but I've actually found the bright to be completely sufficient um, in my on-call shifts. So I'm going to go ahead and use the bright. This uses two triple A's instead of three. It's not as bright, uh, but it has a red for the night light and um, it's significantly lighter. For our kitchen, we've made a lot of changes in our kitchen. And we're actually going alcohol stove. So, I made this myself and uh, of course I'm a little proud of it. But this is your traditional cat can stove. You know, cut on the bottom, it has another can inside, a wicking material and it's an open burning design. So we take that, windscreen on top, titanium kettle, and uh, this is boiling water with about three quarters of an ounce of alcohol. Uh, we keep our alcohol in one of these. You get them free at any pharmacy. I don't like the idea of keeping it in a soda bottle because people do accidentally drink that stuff. 
Um, keep it in here, it obviously looks like poison. And it's got the uh, ounce increments along the side so you can know how much you're pouring out. When all that's said and done, we have an entire kitchen, including uh, real silverware to use and a lighter at under nine ounces, which is just a great weight savings. You know, it weighs less than just the canister for an old kitchen. And this is your entire setup, so I've been really happy with that. Loved our Hyperflow last year, gonna use it again this year. Um, you know, this is just in the original bag, but what a great product, you know, for seven and a half ounces. Great water filter. I had no clogging problems with it, you know, and we've used this over and over and over. We will buy a fresh filter before we leave just so that it's ready. Potty stuff, toilet paper, a little shovel. Four trekking poles, we're using the black diamonds for now. Um, our tent uses, uses two trekking poles as it supports. So these are a little bit heavier, but they're extremely strong. They've saved us from some really good falls in the past. Um, and beyond that, I just quickly want to show you some clothing. Um, Echo's clothing is here, and it's very similar to mine. But basically, I'm going to carry what I wear. Uh, these are Arcteryx pants, Mountain Hardware shirt. And just for change, all I've got is an ultralight pair of running shorts, nylon, don't weigh hardly anything, and a very, very light t-shirt. Three pair of socks, soft shell gloves, and a rain shell. This is the Mountain Hardware Typhoon. There are lighter options. I know Echo went with the Arcteryx rain shell, which is also pack light, but actually weighs about four ounces less. I carry the Kathleen 3 tops and bottoms for sleepwear. Echo's been using the uh, um, Continuum, I believe, the Mountain Hardware equivalent. Uh, these are great for sleeping in, a little bit of extra warmth as well as you can use it as a shirt if need be in town. As for base weight, this has us pretty set up, and um, when we do this, we're sharing right around 22 pounds, which is 11 a piece, which is a great base weight for two people to be going out and sharing. Um, anything less, you'd really be sacrificing comfort. Quickly, we have some expendables. We do carry a first aid kit. Comes in about seven and a half to eight and a half ounces, depending on what we have in there. Toiletries, which has some needless stuff, you know, um, little hairbrush, things like that. I actually haven't weighed this. Feels in the eight ounce range. Pack towels, which when I weighed this, these were actually considered part of clothing. I'd have this here and that with those, um, but these are in the base weight. And our food this year, we're going to be going stoveless where we can. So this kitchen is actually going to be bounced ahead in a lot of places, especially the dryer sections. And instead of doing boxes specifically, we're doing day rations. So this would be 2,600 calories for two people. So this would be 5,200 calories in a box or in a bag. And we'll just send differing amounts of these based on how long we're going to be in a place. The nice thing about that is we can adjust our pace. Um, I can tell my sister back home to mail us, you know, five bags, ten bags, however long we're going to be. So as we go faster or slower. Um, these are stoveless. These are just fruits, nuts, berries, things like that. Cold cereal, powdered milk. We have other bags that we're going to be used for when we do have our stove, you know, for the colder sections or the longer stretches. You know, it's nice to have some hot meals. Basically, going stoveless anytime it's three or four days between where supplies. So overall, this is pretty much it. You know, we're sitting here looking at 11, um, under 12 pounds for our, shirt, for our base weight, you know, um, we're really happy to take a lot of, took a lot of weight off from last year, um, and trying to be more efficient in how we pack our foods. These, even with all of the packaging and all of the bags and everything around them, we're still looking at over 100 calories an ounce um, for the total bag weight out, which is really great. Well, thanks for watching. I'd love any comments you guys have, or just, you know, let us know what you think. So, happy holidays.